The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's transcribed entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama Mia, you're not going to believe this, but I'm in America only a year and a half, and already I'm rich. That's right, I'm got a hundred dollars. <laughs> Mamma mia, I bet you wondering how I'm got the hundred dollars so fast. Well, that's because I'm gonna learn how to run my antique shop like a real big American business. This week, I'm gonna run different sale every day. Monday was the penny sale. Then a Tuesday was the inventory sale. Wednesday was the middle of the month sale. Thursday was a clearance sale. And a Friday, my first customer is a walk-in. <laughs> He's an all by nothing, but on a Saturday, Chamber of Commerce is giving me a hundred dollar prize for being the most enterprising a businessman on a North Hollister Street. <laughs> so you see, Mama Mia, I'm learning the good. And I'm got a big deal on it now. Yesterday, I received a letter from a big antique wholesaler, Mr. Morgan, in Buffalo, in New York. He used to say he's like a letter I'm writing him. And maybe he's a ship me lots of new stuff and, uh, and a consignment. And a consignment, Mama Mia, means uh, I'm no pay cash to Mr. Morgan. And he's no get a pay it until I'm a seller. And if I'm no seller, he's no get, and I'm no pay, and everything is back in the Buffalo. <laughs> But it's a big chance for me. And I'm so excited. I'm hardly can wait to tell my night school class. Oh, it's wonderful to be big American, a big business man. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. That's what I chose to marry Valentine. All right, class, let's come to order, please, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Harwood? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Ooh, such an obvious question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. No, smile, everybody. And you too, Miss Balding. After all, if I wasn't here, what would I say? Absent? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz? Present. Thank you. Now, class, today in our grammar lesson, we are going to study some adjectives. And who will tell us what an adjective is? Mr. Harwood? With pleasure. An adjective, um, hmm, let me see. Well, suppose you give us a sentence using an adjective. A good idea. John was crazy about adjectives. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Harwood, I didn't hear an adjective in that sentence. I could have sworn I said it. <laughs> Mr. Basco, will you give us a sentence using an adjective? Sure. If a Mr. Morgan sends me all those antiques on a consignment, then I'm going to get a chance to make a profit. Well, uh, now, Mr. Basco, to use an adjective, suppose you describe those antiques. I'm a cantum of spudding. I didn't receive them yet. <laughs> you see, it's up to well, this please Mr. Morgan. Would you, Mr. Basco? Uh, Mr. Schultz, you had your mouth open. Any reason? Me and my big mouth. I will accept that. Big as the adjective describing mouth. Well, on my lucky days, I can't do anything wrong. 
Now try it again. First, select a noun. All right. What is the noun? Lana Turner. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you selected a proper noun. Miss Spalding, what other kind did you think I would select? <laughs> well, all right, Lana Turner. Now use some adjectives to describe her. Uh, uh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Spalding, uh, we seem to be experiencing some difficulty obtaining the proper answer to your question today. If you don't mind, I should be happy to supply all the information needed. There he goes, Sweden's answer to the world almanac. <laughs> would you be quiet, Mr. Schultz? Mr. Olsen, please, would you help me out? Yeah, of course. In the sentence, Mary had a little lamb. Little is the adjective because it describes the noun lamb. That's perfect. Yeah. Now, Mr. Schultz, referring to Mary's lamb, what can you think of? Lamb shops. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, anybody could do better than that. Mr. Horowitz, could you agree with Mr. Schultz? Never. Thank you. In my family, we prefer leg of lamb. <laughs> no, no, no. Mr. Basco? Well, if a Mr. Morgan sends me the consignment from a buffalo... Oh, goodness, I... no. Mr. Basco, can't you get your mind off that consignment from buffalo? It's a hard to miss, Balding. You see, that's my first big chance to make a lot of money. Well, big business. Luigi, I'm glad to hear about it. Good luck. Luigi, tell us more about your big deal. Yeah, yeah, when are the antiques coming in? We might want to buy something. Oh, thank you, friends, but, but I'm not got the antiques yet. You see, we're just the right in it to each other. <laughs> First, he's got to be convinced I'm the right man to send him to. But, Luigi, what are you waiting for? Why don't you can win them yourself? Huh? That's a good idea, Mr. Basco. Don't wait. Go there and close the deal. Your buffalo is only 500 miles away, Luigi. You could fly out, see Mr. Morgan, and, and get the antiques like that. They're right, Luigi. In America, to be a big success, you got to act fast. But I'm a, I'm a never fly before. Ah, <laughs> Luigi, you don't fly. They got airplanes for that. <laughs> well, I'm a don't know. Mr. Basco, why don't you take the train? It's a very enjoyable overnight ride, and you'll combine business with pleasure. A train ride? I'm gonna never go for a bigger train ride by myself. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I see Mr. Morgan make a bigger deal like a real bigger businessman. That's right, Luigi. And from Buffalo, you'll be traveling to New York, Florida, Los Angeles, all over the country. Oh, you're gonna be a big man. And then before you know it, instead of people saying, Zay, did you hear that one about the traveling salesman? They'll say, hey, did you hear that one about Luigi Basco? <laughs> <laughs> I stop, Monsieur, so you're making me laugh. That's right, Luigi, laugh. Be like me, always happy, always laughing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, guess what? I'm taking a train ride for 500 miles. So the government's finally sending you to Alcatraz, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Pasquale? I'm made a big decision. You see, as a Mr. Morgan in a Buffalo, who's uh, going to make up his mind to who is going to send a lot of antiques. I'm a taught if I'm a go to Buffalo in a person, I'm going to use a super salesmanship, and then I'm going to make him a change of his mind. Hoo-hoo, listen to this papa squeak and talk. That's a new Luigi. <laughs> That's right, Pasquale. New Luigi. Last week, I won a prize from the Chamber of Commerce, and this week... And this week, off at the Buffalo. <laughs> hey, Luigi, I just thought of something. Uh, while you on this uh, trip, uh, would you just do me one little favor? What a shoot, Pasquale. What a favor you want him to do? Uh, when you get on the train, uh, take along one extra piece of baggage for me. <laughs> sure. What's this piece of baggage you want him to take? My daughter, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Pasquale, that's uh, no baggage. That's the steamer trunk. <laughs> Luigi, Rosa want to take up too much room. Well, I'm, I'm not worried about too much room. I'm worried about too much train. <laughs> Luigi, is that a nice way to talk about my little girl? A little girl? 
Pasquale, she weighs 250 pounds. So what? The train companies are liable to give you a reduction if you take her. A reduction? Sure. You know how them trains that go around the curves are so fast? Well, with Rosa on the train, it's a sure not to fly off of the track. <laughs> Pasquale, it's no use talking. I'm not taking a Rosa. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna pack All right, to go, go. Chicago ain't big enough for you, eh? Pasquale, I'm... Chicago's big enough for everybody else to make a living. You don't see cattle rushing out of the stockyards to take their business to Philadelphia. <laughs> go, go, Mr. Traveler, the salesman without a citizen of papers. Pasquale, you're trying to scare me now. What's a citizen of Peppers got to do with Nothing, it? Nothing. Only if somebody comes around from immigration department asking me, I got to answer the truth. Luigi's left the country to go to Buffalo. <laughs> well, Buffalo is in the United States. Is it right opposite the Lake Erie? Well, right to now it is. But as soon as the Congress takes in Hawaii, buffaloes are going to get pushed into the lake. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you joking. There's a plenty of room here for buffalo and the Hawaii. Ooh, what a stupid boob. <laughs> Luigi, with a nothing in your head, I'm a surprise to what you is, is it got to hang on to. <laughs> Look, there's only 48 stars on the American flag. If a Hawaii comes in and a buffalo stays, you think they're going to collect all the flags in the country and paste on an extra star? <laughs> Somebody's got to go and it's a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about, eh? <laughs> Pasquale, what do you make up of because of Rosa? Buffalo in a state, so it's got nothing to do with a Hawaii and the flag. What? So I'm not scared, and if you don't mind the goodbye, I'm gonna send you a poster card from a buffalo. It's a good thing I'm gonna go to night school, otherwise maybe you make a fool of me. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. I pay my hard earned taxes, and what's the government spend it for? Schools. Ooh, what a waste of money. <laughs> Is he gonna send me a poster card for buffalo? Buffalo. Hey, I'd see right across the way from Niagara Falls. <laughs> hey, have I got an idea? Rosa! 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 You me, Papa! <laughs> yes, didn't you hear me? No, Papa, I was busy eating. Eating, eating, always eating. You're gonna get a fat like an elephant. <laughs> what are you eating now? Steak, Papa. Well, forget about that. I got a better idea. What? Buffalo. <laughs> Gee, I never tasted that. Oh, stop. Listen, Rosa, Luigi's going on a trip to Buffalo. That's right the next to Niagara's Falls. Niagara's Falls, Rosa. What is it to make you think of? Going over it in a barrel. <laughs> Why couldn't I have had a son? Now, listen, Rosa, we're going to take a train ride to Buffalo. Luigi's going to be on that train, see? Now, we got to make it our business. By the time he gets it to Buffalo, he's going to marry you. That's what an Agra's Falls is for. The only real American place to get him married. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Me too. Luigi, he's going on his honeymoon, only he don't know it. He don't know it? No. Why? Well, if I marry Luigi, how long can I keep it a secret from him? Oh, shut up, you face! <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion you'll find helpful during these warm summer days. Working at a job or around your home, there are bound to be times when your mouth and throat feel hot and dry. When that happens, just slip a stick of refreshing Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum into your mouth and see what a difference it makes. That lively mint flavor really freshens your mouth, and the pleasant chewing helps keep your throat cool and moist. As a result, you naturally feel better and work better. 
So always keep a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy, and every time you want to enjoy a refreshing treat, chew a stick. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm a bigger business man now, and I'm going for my first bigger trainer ride to see Mr. Borgen in a buffalo. Mamma Mia, I'm so excited. It reminds me of the day when I left Italy. How I'm a packed three times, then I'm a shook hands with you and a kiss to the goat to goodbye. <laughs> also, I'm a very happy how Pasquale is realize he can't stop me now. Now he don't know what he should do for me. He's a treat to me like a son. Half hour ago, he's a give me a box of chocolates for a trip. And inside there was a note. Name the first one after me. <laughs> I'm a think it's a funny thing to ask. But anyway, I'm a name of the first marshmallow, Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> and so was the time to go. I was so nervous saying a goodbye to Pasquale and Rosa. And then I went down to the La Salle Street station. Mamma mia, the train station is so big. Hey, look, everybody's a hurry up or so. Uh, excuse me, mister. Huh? You know how I'm going to get the two buffalo? Sure. Two blocks left. Make a right turn at the corner. Oh, buffalo. That's it, right. Oh, Go over to the ticket booth. Ticket booth? Oh, must be like a telephone booth, huh? Maybe I call up and I get a ticket. Oh, there. Ticket the booth. Excuse me, please. Yes, sir. Where to? How you know? <laughs> how did I know what? I was going to someplace. Well... Whoa, you... I'm a looking like a little traveler, huh? With a hike in the shoes, a compass in my pocket, umbrella, camera, <laughs> and a good binoculars. <laughs> That's a good. Well, I'm a like to go to Buffalo. All right, one way? Yeah, one away by train. <laughs> I know by train. I mean, do you want a round trip? Oh, no, I'm going to want to travel in the circles. I'm going to want to go straight to them. <laughs> Are you staying in Buffalo? Yeah. Then you want one way. That's what I said. I'm going to stay a few hours and then I'm going to come back. Then you want a round trip. What's the matter, mister? You want to make me dizzy? <laughs> Look, bud, a round trip merely means you go to Buffalo and back here again. You mean I'm going to never get a chance to get off in a Buffalo? I'm going to just go there for the ride? <laughs> The train lets you off in Buffalo. Oh, good. You see, it's a business a trip, yeah, and I'm against... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which train do you want? The one that's a going to the Buffalo. <laughs> I don't have to stay here. I got a million tickets. It'll take me any place. <laughs> Look, sir, we have half a dozen trains going to Buffalo. Huh? Half a dozen trains we have going to Buffalo. Oh, they have a race, huh? <laughs> they don't have a race. They all go on separate tracks. They leave at different times, and they don't meet in the middle and explode. Oh, good. I was worried about that. You see, this is my first look, trip. Look, look, friend. There are others behind you. You want a coach or a sleeper? Coach or a sleeper? Yes. Can I just have a plane train? <laughs> Now there are five different trains Which will it be? Which one of you like the best? I'm a hitchhiker myself Well, good, I'm attacking the hitchhiker Oh, my There's so many people in the chairs with the napkins under their heads. Is it like a big barber shop on the wheels? Huh. Look at all those buttons on the walls. And this is a long cord on the top. I guess it must be to hang a wet the clothes on it. It looks a little loose, so maybe I do train a favor and I pull them together tight. <laughs> Mama Mia, don't tell me you were already in a buffalo. Oh, here comes the conductor. I'm going to ask him. Who pulled that cord? I'm a dear, Mr. Conductor. Why the train is a stop? Eh? That was an emergency stop. Emergency? 
What's the matter, train? Does I have a flat to tire? No, bud. You pull the emergency cord and stop the train. Oh, I'm a sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Hmm. Okay, nothing wrong. Just a mistake. Where's your ticket? Here. Here. Round trip to Buffalo, first class. Everything in shape. All right, now get a seat and don't pull that cord again. All right. I'm find a seat and I... Such a beautiful scenery. And the train is going so fast. It's make a man feel so important to ride on it. Imagine me, Luigi Basco, American businessman, making a business a trip to Buffalo. Hmm, I'm feeling hungry. Where's my bag? I'm making myself a sample to. No, it's not nicer to eat. Maybe man is sick. The next to me is going to be hungry. Pardon me, mister. Yes? Maybe you like a half a banana? No, thank you. I'm going to Buffalo. You going there too? No, only part way. I get off at Cleveland. Oh. Can't afford the Buffalo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, Cleveland is my hometown. Oh. <laughs> I'm Luigi Pasco, and I'm coming from Italy a year and a half ago. I'm going to take a shop on a 21 and not the whole set of street to Chicago, for Illinois, sir. And I'm going to Buffalo to see Mr. Morgan about the antiques and a consignment. But you can call me Luigi. <laughs> I'm Sam Hamilton. I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Pasco. Luigi. Luigi. I'm pleased to meet you, Sam. Maybe you take a half a banana now? <laughs> yes, I think I will. The dining car doesn't open for a while yet. I'm getting hungry. That's a good... What kind of sandwich would you like? i make it for you right now. Let me see. I'm going to get a salami and a cheese. No, 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 I... no, no, thank you. This banana's fine. Well, if you'll excuse me, I, I'll be back in just a minute. Oh, sure, sure. He's a nice man. Hello, mister. Well, hello, little boy. Oh, you nice little boy. What's your name? Richard, but everybody calls me Dickie. What's the matter? They don't like a Richard? <laughs> what is it no matter? Hey, Dickie, how you like half a banana? Oh, goody! Here. Where's your mama, Dickie? Here she comes. Dickie, where'd you get that banana? That's all right, the lady. I'm going to give it to him. I never allow Junior to eat bananas. He breaks out right away. Oh, don't worry. He can't break out of here. The doors are they all are closed. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't eat bananas. Oh. Oh, well... Well, I'm gonna get some chocolate bars and a tuna gum and a... Mommy, I want to play with the funny man. <laughs> He's going to be a funny man. He don't know I'm going on a bigger business trip to Buffalo. Well, all right. You play quietly and don't eat too much. I'll be reading a magazine if you want me. Sure, lady. Go. Go. You, you did the... And I, I'm going to play with the dickie. Hey, let's play horsey. I climb up on you here. Huh? Oh, Sure. Clap, clap, careful, Dickie, you're pulling out of my hair. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up. Hey, I'm going to stand on your shoulders and reach the top of the train. No, no, Dickie, that's no good. Uh, I want to stand on... All right, all right, wait now. Up, I'm going to lift you way up until you touch. Oh, I'm almost touched. Whoop! Hey, look out, Dickie, you're falling. Hey, grab out of something. Hey, grab the cord. No, no, not the that. Oh, here comes the conductor again. Who pulled that cord? There's a Mr. Conductor was all accident. Accident? I'm beginning to think this is a practical joke. You realize we've already lost seven minutes on account of you? Well, that's all right. We're on daylight saving the time, so you still got a 53 minutes ahead. <laughs> okay, nothing wrong. Go ahead. Look, mister, the next time that happens, I'm throwing you off the train. You get that? I'm throwing you off the train. All right. Mamma mia, I'm a don't want to get thrown off the train. I think I'm going to move away from my head. I'll take my bags in the next train. Maybe I'm going to one of those little rooms I'm going to see in the next train. Oh, here's the one that's open. 
I'm going to give a look. Mamma mia, it's impossible. Hello, little cabbage buds. <laughs> Pasquale, Anna Rosa. <laughs> Stand to one side, Luigi, while I close the door of my room. There. Now I lock it. But Pasquale, I'm, I'm an understander. What are you doing on this train? <laughs> I'm a chaperone and a young married couple to Niagara Falls. The young married couple? Who, Pasquale? I give you three guesses, and the first two is a you and a Rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, you crazy. Crazy, huh? Luigi, I've been waiting a year and a half to get a you and a something like this. In America, they got a law. Breach a premise. <laughs> Breach a premise? Yes. If you are on my premises, you got to marry my daughter. Then I'm going to get off of the premise. Impossible. I got you locked in. Please, Pasquale, the train is going to Buffalo. I'm going to meet a man to close a bigger business deal. I'm no letting you out till you promise to marry my Rose. Well, uh... Come on, eh? What about it? No, no, I'm going to promise. All right, Luigi. Then I'm going to cause you trouble on the ship where the captain makes the laws. On a train, it's the conductor. You want I should have called the conductor and tell him about the breach of premise? I don't care. I'm a no married us. All right, to Luigi, you asked for it. I'm going to pull the cord and call the conductor. He's making the train stop. Now, what's your decision? Pasquale, all right. Pull the cord. Call the conductor. Now you're in big trouble. Here comes the conductor. Who pulled that cord? I did it, Mr. Conductor. You did? Heck it easy, Mr. Conductor. I'm Mr. Papa-in-law. I'm ahead of every taker for you, my son. I've warned this guy three times. Now get off the train. With the pleasure. Goodbye, Papa. So, Mamma Mia, Pasquale's a trick is a fail, and I'm a got to Buffalo on the next train. Mr. Morgan is a met me on the station, and right away he's a got to like me. He's a showed me the sights, then we was a go for a walk in a park, and then I'm a treated him to lunch. And when we finish, I'm a still a had the half a bag left. <laughs> Well, it's all a turn out all right. And uh, Mr. Morgan is uh, giving me a big order for the antiques. And I'm ahead of my first uh, bigger business uh, trip. But it's a good thing I'm a no go by airplane. Just imagine what's uh, happen if I'm a pull the cord up there. <laughs> that uh, would be the end of your loving son, Luigi Bosco, the little immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that refreshing Wrigley Spearmint is an ideal treat for your whole family to enjoy. You can give it to youngsters between meals without worrying about spoiling their appetites, and you can enjoy it every day yourself because it's never rich or heavy. So for a delicious taste treat and a healthful chewing treat all combined into one, get some Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. It costs very little, and it tastes mighty good. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi was transcribed and is produced and directed by Cy Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. <laughs> Jay Carroll Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluster. This is CBS, where you live life with Luigi every Tuesday night on the Columbia Broadcasting System.